वेलकम टू माई कोर्स टू बिल्ड रियल एस्टेट एप्लीकेशन यूजिंग एंगुलर एंड ए एस पी डॉट नेट कोर वेब ए पी आई दिस कोर्स स्टार्ट फ्रॉम स्क्रैच एंड इंक्रीमेंटली एड फीचर्स टू आर प्रॉपर्टी डीलिंग एप्लीकेशन लेट्स हैव ए लुक एट द एप्लीकेशन वी आर गोइंग टू बिल्ड इन दिस कोर्स दिस इज द होम पेज ऑफ आर एप्लीकेशन वेयर एनी एनोनिमस यूजर कैन व्यू द प्रॉपर्टी लिस्ट एडिड बाई वेरियस रजिस्टर्ड यूजर्स वी कैन फिल्टर द लिस्ट ऑन द बेस ऑफ सिटी we will add more filters when we progress through the course we can sort the list on the base of city and price this toggle button can be used to sort listing in ascending or descending order if we hover over the property image we can see this beautiful animation this is done by using pure css on clicking this button we can see a detail of property details are grouped on different tabs Photo tabs contains this beautiful scrollable photo gallery. Full screen image can be viewed by clicking the image. To get the contact information of seller, uh, you should be a registered user and logged in into the site. Logged in user should be able to see additional menu here in drop down. We can also add our property if we are registered user. And as soon as we start to provide information about the property, here we can see the preview of our property in real time. If you click the next button without filling mandatory information or any information is not valid you will get error messages You can upload multiple images from this tab once the property is saved it will be available on the listing page so first we will build this fully functional front end in angular We will use browser local storage to store the data and display the same in our application. Once all the functionality of front end are developed, we will deploy our application on free Firebase hosting. So before diving deep into the technology, let me give you an overview of topics we are going to cover in this course. First of all, we will set up development environment and install all the required tools and packages to start the development. Then we will cover the basics and understand how the information is flow in Angular application, various file types and purpose of those. Then we will understand the different types of binding, the important key feature we will use throughout this application to display the information in our DOM. Then component, the important key building block of Angular. Here in our application, this property card is component, and same component we have used in our listing property form. then we will understand how the information is passed between component for example you can see if we are selecting anything on our listing form it is getting reflected in our property card here in real time so here we will understand how we can pass the information from one component to the another component then we will create service that will help different pieces of our application to communicate with each other to centralize the code and manage the state of our application We will also use HTTP method here in service to interact with our server to fetch and store the data in our database. We will understand routing. As Angular is a single page application, we do have only one page which dynamically display the different component on the single page only. Routing is a way to load different component on the page on the base of matching URLs. While technically we still remain on the single page, but to the user it look like they are moving on the different pages you can see when i am clicking different links url is getting changed but there is no page refresh after that we will understand the forms handling inputs are the key task of any application there are two types of forms template driven and reactive forms we will understand what is the difference between both this property creation form we will develop using template driven method and this login and registration form we will create using reactive forms then we will understand handling error in these forms using inbuilt validators and we will also learn to create our custom validators we will also learn to create this beautiful scrollable gallery observable and resolvers are closely associated with routing we will understand how we can use it to update our component asynchronously Once the form is complete we will learn to store the data into the local browser storage we use pipes to transform and filter the data this sorting and filtering we have done using pipes we will also learn how to create our own pipe in this section at present we only have few properties on this page 
assume if there are thousands of property and if we load all of those in one time what would be the performance of our application lazy loading will help us to load the content in chunks whenever users scroll the windows we will learn how to implement it in our project in this section then we'll understand what is authentication and how we can implement the same in angular application finally we will learn to upload and retrieve images from server and then we will deploy this application on firebase server that is free to use for limited use i have hosted this application on firebase link is given below in description if you would like to play with this so this is the roadmap to learn angular we will create the front end of our application first and implement all these things practically in our application after finishing this front end we will create web api using asp.net core and entity framework core we will deploy the api on different server then we'll connect our front end with the web api so after finishing this course you will not only have the knowledge of angular and asp.net core web api but also have the practical experience to build any real world application next we will understand what is angular and the history of angular then we will set up our development environment if you have not subscribed our channel please subscribe to get the alerts of lesson we will publish further in this course thanks bye bye see you in next video